All right, Bino Black, and basically this is supposed to be footage from Mexico. Uh, we'll wait and see. Uh, I think it's, you know, plausible. Uh, the number one thing, the reason I think it's plausible is because the idea, the magnitude that we it's set on it. And uh, I think uh, I'm just going to go by what it was typed on. I think it was a 7.6, 7.9. So if you go around and since the player's not playing too, let me go to the small again for a second. And especially since I get this, error occurred and stuff like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and blow it up. And I'm making this comment first. Since this is happening, I know about SCADA, supervisory control, and data acquisition. Okay, and so the idea, factual, that the uh, we didn't get footage from Hawaii from the little bit of damage that happened over there for a year here stateside, and that's well known. Bino Black showed you in videos before, so it'll be interesting to see what's happened down there because of the standards that were lackadaisical what, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 300 years ago on building anything down that area in that big of a quake. And since we're not getting a player to play on this video, uh, brings your mind that the idea that when they say 7.6, 7.9, and then we have a, what, a 7.4 that they got registered for the earthquake, we've already been seeing ticks pulled before, okay? Ticks pulled, ticks pulled, ticks pulled. That's fine. It's good for everything. It's good for the casino. Uh, world uh, markets, everything. We like it. We love it. But uh, let's let the data bleed through. Okay. So this is what I've got that was on for the name. Okay. So what I'm interested in doing is make sure that I don't, because I honestly, when someone throws something like this up right away, they might have seen this because we have seen data, and then it gets washed down to like a 7.4 which is not really plausible. 7.6 would be understandable. Pop, popping all the way down to 7.4 from a 7.9 when we actually have like an 8.0 maybe possible. It's 7.9, I mean right by it. Because when we get an 8.0, any uh, architect around the world will tell you when you start getting an 8.0 earthquakes, you're talking about throw the kit bag away. The idea that the stuff that they built was not built to withstand an 8.0 earthquake just like that. Uh, Japan one from a lot of engineers said straight out about certain things that basically we know what we've got rad CPM cannot withstand that and the idea that that's true very true on other stuff and look at the footprint on this thing okay this is a uh, refresh here a little bit ago As a matter of fact can I even do it for you right in front of your eyes we'll do the refreshes you'll see it click up here and it always be knows you can look down here central standard time look at the footprint on that baby and then they have a reactive one of 5.0 too so I believe the 7.9 and 7.6 aftershock because I seen the same thing on whatever when we had the 7 point something over somewhere in the left hand side of the ring of fire here within the last month or something like that uh, and like I said, I had pictures from, and I still have them, you can't get rid of them, got those pictures where the idea that it was a 7 point, I'm not going to make the point something wrong, but the idea that, I believe it was down like a 7.1 and it was originally a 7.4 or something like that. Now, I could be off a little bit on that, but the mining thing, what they were doing with the ticks is not anything off center at all. Okay, uh, The magneticism, uh, I didn't upload yesterday, but you'll see the dates on all the photos that I took off of uh, Sachi that are loading up, you'll see in that. And like I say, I don't pay attention to what somebody tries to feed me. Like I say, this is 12 to 14 days. I'm not really positively sure. Uh, if somebody wants to cut and paste and send me the actual literature on, on the Quake thing monitor, but I just don't really, I don't ever trust anything until I run it through the mill three times. Number one thing is the footprint, okay? So, and the idea that when I heard the earthquake on the radio, so that was my first thing to go like, okay, you really got to run it through the mill three times now. But then when you get home and you look at the idea that someone upped right away a 7.9 to a 7.6, you never know when somebody's going to be playing the hype up or down the deal, but you can kind of shoot for something since we already know I have actual rock hard evidence that the idea that uh, RSOE uh, somebody somewhere originally called for not not this quake okay but the seven point something that we seen and I think and I'm trying to recall now that the idea that it was probably down to like somewhere I'm not going to say it was Vanadu but I know it was down to Australia all I know is in, it was in the western part of the ring of fire okay 
within the last month, and I have pictures showing a 7.4 quake, okay, and there was a tsunami warning that was originally issued, but I kind of even knew right off the bat, I was like, well, they're going to pull that back because we know that we had something higher around 7 before, and all the weight is on the bottom of Earth, okay, the heavy water down there, okay, the majority, okay. Now, there is also something to start on axis turn, and basically I'm going to mention this. I have seen a water, uh, a water uh, estuary, natural one, uh, water going the opposite direction of what I've known it to be going in direction for 46 years. Now, I had a little help from the wind today doing that, but I think we've got a little bit more axis turn to the east, northeast, than what we really know right now, okay? And it's going to end up bleeding out because you can't turn around, turn Earth the other way off their axis to go this. Now, I do believe wind is helping that out, okay? It was a windy day. But if it keeps on building to where I've been seeing this water build on this natural estuary, uh, we might have axis turn positively in a not, it's a beautiful thing to be a slow turn, okay? Slow, not this fast wash whammo, 40 days, 40 nights, like everybody always tries to get in the Bible is a damn good history, okay? So, it's been around longer than you have, okay? So, more info in a little bit, we got a 7 point whatever, okay? 7.6, 7.9, okay? Because quickly, I'll just give you what we had on the internet, okay? We pulled this down, and we had this, and let me just go, and as long as we had standard YouTube, and I don't, for the advertising at all, I got standard YouTube license. Uh, everything that ends up doing this, I can't help if anybody, but if they can discount anything that uh, PSYOPs would pull, the idea that maybe we really did have these numbers, okay? Let me hit refresh right in front of your eyes, see what we get for that, and then you can go ahead and pull up the newest video that you get. Now, here we go. We're playing. So, let's what we see what we get because as, as soon as I loaded this, and this is how skeptical Bino is, so the idea you have to realize that usually I always run into, like I'm saying, we have no idea to know where that this is from, okay? But, as you can see, a webcam's flopping around pretty good. Now, where would this be at? Who knows? Like I say, see, someone could be flopping a webcam around and say that something this and that Okay, but this looks pretty real because, but then again, is this footage from the uh, tsunamis down in whatever? And also, I know that the Philippines had a tsunami, and I told you about that. 640 people or something like that. Some number of people in the Philippines died within the last year, and it was basically hush hut, hushed up a lot. Okay, whatever. There was a storm in the southern part of the Philippines is what ended up being the cover-up on that tsunami there. There was a light tsunami. Now, I'm not sure if it was... And it was later than the uh, Japan tsunami, okay? So, there low-lying area somewhere, someone got some water in the Philippines, or a storm, per their story, that it straight it was a storm, okay? But it was 460 people, 640, God bless her. Now, for educational purposes, can't get in trouble. Uh, this is educational and political sharing since we're in an election year and so forth and so on. So, as you see, I go through here, and it also bleeds through that the idea that you even see 7.9. Okay. So, let's go ahead. Uh, first footage, 7.9. We'll go with that. We're going to go to this. And remember that anybody could just pull anything from being on, and then we get the same footage from a pool somewhere. Now, this could be Mexico City, but then I think it's more than likely this could be towards the resort cities out on the west. Uh, I.e., though, there are stuff like this. Now, if this one ends up with the uh, cake bake in the middle, because the idea, I don't throw the Bible in anybody's face, okay? scientifical and factual, and I actually try to stay within the scientifical. I try to stay into straight up data. It's BAMO. It's there. Like I say, this is his footage from another quake, tsunami, and it gets everybody looking like a piece of poop because nothing happened, but this looks, and since someone threw it up, 7.9. So we'll also go to 7.9 footage on the other one, and I'm pretty sure I could show this because I'm pretty sure that, uh, yeah, standard used to 
and uh, basically not advertising for anybody, but you see it, and I have seen stuff from that name before, and, you know, didn't see any bunk to it, okay? Just don't flap the Bible in somebody's eyeballs. So, because uh, I'm religious, and I know that the Bible tells you not to. So, again, we got 7.9, and I think he's got uh, TV footage from somewhere. So we'll skip ahead a little fast, since we might have propaganda or something. Who never know? Uh, we figure we had a 7.9 to 7.6, what we're seeing. And then, I don't know if we're going to get some footage off of this from Mexico City. That's my number one thing when I started, you know, from what I know about being an industrial commercial electrician and then seeing uh, even, um, you know, any country's uh, engineering redone and the diaper dandies that I've seen engineers come straight out of college. Uh, I call them diaper dandies because they're engineers and uh, sometimes you can redo their electrical for them right there in the field and they end up scratching their head and going, okay, well, that'll work, you know, and you start wondering about what you're working with with engineers. So anyway, that's an electrical, and that's not an electrical joke, that's an electrical fact. So uh, anyway, it looks like we just have footage of a report here, so let's go ahead, and I don't know if we're going to get any drama here at the end, I'll let this one play, and let's go ahead and go to another one. And then we'll see what we get. But when you see uh, when you see this, because basically when you see some people come out, they look like they might be on vacation and they have a construction job in the United States and they know what kind of building they're in down there. <laughs> uh, just I've been around the working field and in construction uh, all over the well, not completely all over the United States, but pretty damn big spectrum. So. As you see that one gentleman there come out pretty quickly because he has basically told the family or whoever else he knows and cares about too, get your ass out of the building because he hasn't seen the blueprints or worked on the job site. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, everybody's clearing out of the building here. No advertising. Can't help it that someone's flopping a camera around down in uh, Mexico. I know they're in Mexico now because I want a piece of pork on a stick. I want to say hi to Club Chicago down there, and uh, Hotel San Diego. See, si, Senor. Uh, it's a small world. So, keep those lips wet. I love that stuff everywhere in the world. So, you got some action here from Mexico. So, this looks pretty good. The idea that uh, when we see what I'm going to see here that anybody that's been to Mexico before, when we see, uh, let's see what I was catching my eye there. Hang on a minute. Basically, I would guess we'd say it like that, just like if you're in New York City and you see uh, some of these guys with the suits and the cell phones standing outside, they had an earthquake. Yep, we had an earthquake. Uh, uh, yeah, that was an earthquake. All right. So he got on his cell phone and proved it. <laughs> if we see the base of this, uh, if we see the base of this light that I seen shaking a minute ago, they show a light shaking. Now you can take people over and go and shake a light pretty good and make it move around. But let me see where this footage was on the light shaking. Anybody can make girls cry, onions. Uh, this stuff could shake as long as they show us the base. That's what I'm interested in, seeing the base. Starting the shot at the base and shooting up. So, you know, it's always skeptical, ladies and gentlemen. Every two-legged human being on the face of the earth. Let's see if we get this light fixtures shaking street lights without any assistance of anybody. Anybody can get people to jump out of a building. Now, does somebody get fixated now? He was, okay, that's kind of believable because the idea they take a shot. And then that one's shaking over there, too, so that's pretty good information there. Uh, the seal, did we, if you see the towers, but then you get me, anybody can be shaking all the lights, too. But it starts out with, let's get back, they're on Juarez Street, I think probably Mexico City. Doesn't look like anybody was. Sh let's freeze that shot right there. No one looks like they're grabbing a hold of the poles and shaking them. 
Yeah, and they're shaking pretty good to be still shaking and not have any human beings grab a hold. So anyway, at least there's a bicycle.